Recently, a frightening new strain of coronavirus, innocuously called B117, erupted in southeast England, causing the government to tighten the region's lockdowns. While we don't understand all the specifics, experts are increasingly optimistic that it is transmitted more easily than other strains. Why does that variant trigger concern? Other forms of the virus are quickly replaced, mutations affecting part of the virus are likely to be important, and some of those mutations have already been shown in the laboratory to improve the virus's ability to infect cells. The SARS-CoV-2 strain B117 is a variant of the virus with 23 mutations, eight of which are in the spike protein used by the virus to bind to and invade human cells. According to the World Health Organization, it was first identified in Kent County in England on September 21st, then took off and spread in November. It has since been the most common variant in England, reflecting, according to the WHO, more than 50% of new cases diagnosed in the United Kingdom between October and December 13th. Some scientists now suspect that the virus may have mutated in a person who has been immunocompromised. That's because the novel coronavirus can fix errors as it replicates, unlike the flu, and therefore appears to have a reasonably stable genome. Studies have shown, however, that individuals who have compromised immune systems can harbor infectious viruses for months while they are taking immunosuppressant medications or are being treated with chemotherapy, for example. That, in turn, would give the virus several opportunities to develop mutations that help the immune system replicate or evade it. Viruses mutate all the time, and most of these modifications don't affect how lethal or contagious the virus is. Any of these mutations may have occurred solely by chance in this case, and may not affect the virus's function. While this is the common case in line with virus mutation, there are three things in particular that made the experts worried about. 1. A deletion of two amino acids known as 6970 delta was first observed separately in a patient who developed COVID-19 while treated with immunosuppressants. The severe convalescent plasma and neutralizing antibodies were given to the patient, but he died months later. Another mutation, known as N501Y, changes the essential amino acids that make up the so-called SARS-CoV-2 receptor binding domain, where, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the amino acid asparagine, N, has been replaced with tyrosine, Y, in the portion of the virus that binds to the ACE2 receptor on human cells. P681H, which is also in the receptor binding domain of the virus, is the third suspicious mutation. This mutation sits next to the furin cleavage site, which is where the spike protein must be cleaved in order for the virus to enter cells, according to preliminary details reported by the COVID-19 Genomics Consortium UK. According to a report by the Center for Mathematical Modeling and Infectious Diseases that has not yet been peer-reviewed, experts now think the new version is between 50% and 74% more transmissible than other dominant strains. The WHO predicts that the simple reproductive number R will be tacked to 0.4, which determines how many individuals each infected person will spread the virus to. The new variant could be responsible for 90% of all new COVID-19 cases in London and East and South England by mid-January, the study found, based on models of that development. Given with the progress on the newly developed vaccines, most experts say, will still operate against the current UK variant. The body develops an array of cells to bind to several different parts of the virus as vaccines activate the immune system. According to the CDC, mutations in a handful of spots would likely not be enough to make the vaccine less safe. In September, it was first observed. Around a quarter of the cases in London in November is the latest variant. In mid-December, this was close to two-thirds of the events. You can see how in certain centers such as the Milton Keynes Lighthouse Laboratory, the version has dominated the results of research. Since 99% of the proteins in the new variant are identical to the Pfizer BioNTech mRNA vaccine target strain, the Moderna vaccine is very similar. The vaccine is highly likely to work, BioNTech CEO Ugur Shaheen said in a news conference. It is likely that a strain that will evade any of our vaccinations will evolve over time, similar to how each year the flu vaccine has to be modified. In approximately six weeks, however, the latest mRNA vaccines could be modified to represent new mutations, Shaheen told the Financial Times. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, a study found that novel coronavirus mutations and quarantine relaxation steps have caused a rapid increase in infections in the Philippines, local media announced on Friday. A joint U.S.-Philippine study published on November 30 confirmed that a SARS-CoV-2 virus mutation, E614G, was present in most specimens collected from military and civilian patients between June and July, as reported by the Philippine Star Daily. The study was performed by the Philippines Armed Forces V. Luna Medical Center, VLMC, 
and the Medical Sciences Research Institute of the U.S. Armed Forces. According to the report, the existence of the D614G mutation may partially explain the rapid increase in infections in the nation, noting that the main driving source may have been the more relaxed quarantine steps. It is suspected that the current strain is more contagious than the original genotype D614 that first appeared in Wuhan, China, in 2019. The center did, however, explain that there is no proof of the effect of the new mutation on the seriousness of the disease. According to official statistics for the December 11, 2020 survey, the Philippines' coronavirus count currently stands at 447,039, including 8,709 deaths. To stop this, what should we do? The new variant is still circulating in the same manner as the usual coronavirus type. That means that since March, the same things everybody has been doing to stop the spread of the virus will also work for the new UK variant, hand washing, physical distance, masks and excellent ventilation. It can help prevent its proliferation by strictly adhering to certain laws and preventing excessive outings.